Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? Because I'm tired of being woke up out of my sleep. We're not going to be doing this, okay? Because I got to get my rest, and I'm going to get my rest. And I'm not going to be waking up out of my sleep to be delivering no messages because people who are so wicked that they can't rest is up trying to do more wickedness. Like, we just not going to be doing this, okay? Five of Pentacles. That's where they ass is at. To be up all night long throughout the night, stalking somebody, obsessed with them, and trying to do spell work against them. I mean, like, they they in the Five of Swords and in the Five of Pentacles. But with all these fives, before we even get started, that's letting me know that there is also going to be a monumental change in their life. That the universe is going to force them to change since they will not change Eight of, eight of Wands. The universe is going to force them to move it on along since they won't move along on their own. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know? What else would you like for us to know about what I'm picking up on? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Because it just don't make no sense, God. But what would you like for me to report on it? What is the message about what I'm picking up on, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. The Hierophant. It's a group of people. It's a group of people who have decided that they're going to do this type of shit to somebody. Okay? One of the people in the group could even, hate to even say it, but could be a man of the cloth. You see that dude in that yellow right there? It's almost like he's giving, he praying but I feel like he's almost praying over this death soldier before he goes to battle. Because, see, you know, you got to be careful who you ask to pray for you because everybody don't pray to the same person. And that's most definitely what I'm getting off this death card. There's somebody with that gold robe on that's actually praying to a death angel to get rid of you. Okay? Because you too much of a warrior for them. They can't handle you. I don't know why they're trying to handle you. I don't know why they just won't leave you alone. But they feel like they have to conquer you. It's a whole group of people. It's an organization of people who are consistently sending this kind of message to some message. Yep. Sending this kind of message and energy out to the universe for someone's life to be over with. That's what I, I keep picking up on it. Keep picking up on it now. This is about the second or third time. Whoever this group or organization of individuals are, they keep trying to fucking do this shit. But it's not working. This person is damn too brave, bold, beautiful, powerful, resilient, tenacious, okay, too strong for whatever this is that they're trying to do against them. What else, Holy Spirit? Judgment. They ass. They ass. They ass. Three, three, three. It's up under judgment. Not this King of Wands. This King of Wands is going to continue to be able to move forward away from any destruction that this Hierophant Death Organization keep throwing at them. They they under judgment. They want to put this King of Wands under judgment so bad. So bad, y'all. So bad. But it won't take. They can't punish this person. They can't end things for this person. This person continues to experience new beginnings and new opportunities in their life. They get to keep moving and rolling on past whatever was being trying to sink their ship. Because these motherfuckers is consistently trying to sink this King of Wands ship. Okay? They, they more wounded than he is from this these battles. Because I'm telling you. It's already been decided. That this King of Wands is going to be able to move on. From any type of destruction that is being put on him by this organization. Okay? I feel like it's a King of Pentacles who is at the head of this Hierophant Death energy, 
Okay? They got the money. They been investing like a motherfucker too. Trying to do whatever they need to do. To implore this death angel to come take this king of wands. But I feel like they are receiving that type of energy in their life. This king of pentacles who belongs to this group here. This hierophant death energy here. They are. I'm hearing they with the world right behind that. This death angel that they want to come visit, this king of wands, I feel like it's been visiting their friends, their family, their people. With this world card here, that's why they 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 in the nine of wands. And it's almost as if now they're telling themselves that this king of wands is doing something similar to them with like what they're doing to this king of wands. They're convincing themselves of this now because the, the magic ain't working and it's actually causing loss in their life. So now they're convinced they have convinced themselves that this king of wands is fighting back using some similar spiritual tool like they are. OK. Meanwhile, this king of wands is just a nine of pentacles, a divine feminine who is minding hers. Who ain't fucking with nobody unless they want to want to come fuck with them. Now, I mean, the game changed when people come fucking with you, especially when you weren't fucking with them. But this this divine feminist energy is so organic, so sincere that when people come fucking with her with this seven of swords and this seven of pentacles. That she don't even have to fight back. The universe fights back for her. The universe blow the trumpet on that shit. And I'm telling you what they wanted for her happens to them. And they, they mad about it. Them trying to be mean to this woman. With this seven of swords, the seven of pentacles, and this four of pentacles... It causes misfortune and loss in their life. It causes things to get tight for them. It causes near-death scares for them, I'm hearing. Okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. I'm telling the tower, child. Y'all see how that flew out here? Like I said, it, it causes them to be in the tower, their foundation to fall. You know, and for this to be a king of pentacles, his foundation shouldn't be faulty, but it's what his foundation is built on. Okay? It's the intention behind his foundation, his organization, his group. This could be a Scorpio. I'm just noticing all the Scorpio energy. This Scorpio is part of a group who has decided to sacrifice a king of wands, nine of pentacles. Okay? They want to sacrifice this woman bad as fuck, y'all. And they've been trying to do it for a long ass time. And they cannot get her. They can't get her done. I'm trying to tell you. They can't put her down. They've been trying to put her down. And her ass keep popping out just like this. With the sun card. Okay. So this particular sacrifice. That they got their eyes on. They might want to just pick somebody else. Pick another prospect. That's what I'm hearing. Pick another prospect. This group might look at prospects. I don't know what kind of organization this Scorpio is a part of. But they look at prospects. But they need to give up looking at this prospects. Because baby, this is the universe's sweetheart right here. Okay, you need to give up whatever you keep going for when it comes to this Queen of Cups. Because this Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. Because she too resilient. The Ten of Wands is falling right up underneath this King of Pentacles energy. He need to give it up. They need to go find another prospect. That's literally what I heard. So I'm not sure what they're going to receive if they can sacrifice this Divine Feminine. But the Holy Spirit is saying you need to go take a, another risk elsewhere. Okay? Because you ain't finna be able to put this one down. Maybe she a high priestess. Okay? So if she has a spiritual assignment, if she has been 
put in a place to be some sort of spiritual counselor or advisor, in addition to being this Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands energy, she be fighting a good fight for people. I'm hearing 10, 10 on the phone. They ain't finna be at, they ain't finna be able to um put this woman down. This woman is on some type of spiritual assignment. This is why I was hearing it's almost like the universe decided, hey, y'all just ain't gonna be able to fuck with this one because we got her doing something right now and for henceforth and forevermore. Let us all say amen, okay? We got some type of partnership with this Queen of Cups high priestess. This is some sort of spiritual advisor that this organization is trying to sacrifice. Why are they so dead set on putting this divine feminine down, Holy Spirit, Knight of Cups? Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, the, the Strength. They want your money, they want your knowledge, and they want your, your strength. Whoever you are, divine feminine. Whoever, this is why this organization that the Scorpio is involved with keep coming for this Divine Feminine. They want her money, they want her knowledge, and they want her strength. And they can't have it. And so I guess they feel like if they can't have it for their own. Now see, this is given. This is given that this Divine Feminine Rejected this group somehow, unknowingly, by rejecting this King of Pentacles, okay? Because he did think she was some kind of potential prospect. The Nine of Pentacles is matching up with this King of Pentacles. I'm getting that vibe. Like, at one point, 12-12 on the phone, this King of Pentacles presented a prospect, a pros proposition, excuse me, not a prospect, he presented a proposition to this Divine Feminine. It was a slick one. It had some stipulations. It wasn't right. Just keep it a buck. That's why she put that shit down. Okay? But, but this King of Pentacles knew the value of this Divine Feminine. Even before they started trying to take her down, put her down. Like these people are trying to unalive this woman. It's like, if we can take her out, somehow they feel like they're going to get some kind of boost or abundance in return if they can sacrifice this woman because she's so anointed, she's so highly ranked that they feel like if they can take out a highly ranked soldier, spiritual soldier of the Holy Spirit, of the Most High, that they're going to elevate as an organization and have prosperity and abundance. That's what they think, y'all. Because they know. He know this woman at Ace of Pentacles. He tried to give her a slick love offer beforehand. She know this man. Whoever you are, you know whoever this Scorpio is. The Scorpio is part of some type of group or organization. And you are their ongoing prospect. In the sense that they're going to keep coming for you until they destroy you. That's their mindset, okay? But you keep getting good news from the universe. You keep receiving more abundance, more opportunity, more favor, okay? More strength, more knowledge. This high priestess is very knowledgeable, okay? Probably more knowledgeable than most of these people in this damn organization. 1414, that's why they're unable to put her down. Because, baby, they trying, baby. Oh, they trying. They be coming to this woman dreams. I just heard they be trying to send this woman some type of spell to make her want to commit suicide, baby. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. I hear you, girl. I hear you, boy. Because it's boys and girls in this organization. It's girls affiliated with these boys here. Mm-hmm. Look, it's a whole family unit of motherfuckers. They consider themselves family. They give to and receive from each other. And I feel like this 
This divine feminine didn't want to be a part of that family. She she hauled ass away from them people. Because it's something up with, with this group and how they celebrate. And she peeped that shit. Okay? And she hauled ass and became independent of whatever this group and organization be doing. Because they do be on this shit right here. Most definitely. You better know that. And I don't think this Divine Feminine knew that when she initially started interacting with this King of Pentacles. Okay? But whatever she realized about him and who he affiliated with, she freed herself from that. I mean, haul ass in another direction. Turn her back to it completely with this Three of Wands because she could see what this organization even if she didn't get to see what this organization was about directly, she knew that anything that this Scorpio was a part of, she didn't want to be a part of it or him, okay? That's what she saw. So I don't know what this one picked up off of him in this organization. But her divine femininity wouldn't let her play herself like that. And I'm telling you, since this woman has even... Come to this conclusion about the Scorpio. Her cu her cup is overflowing. Her her foundation is solid, child, and she gonna continue to keep moving forward at an expedited rate. And this these these people they heartbroken, child. They is upset that they could not unalive this woman using some form of magic. They upset. They upset. And they're going to continue to remain upset until they decide to eight of cups this for good because this is where it has them. They putting in all this work, investing all this money out of jealousy, envy, and anger at how this woman is able to deny them, deny this king of pentacles in particular. But that shit keep getting blocked. I'm telling you, did, not this one. That's all I can tell people. That's all you can tell folk. You know, you 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 can you tried it. Got my ass damn stuttering now. Cause they tried it real hard. They heartbroken that they could not kill this woman. That's a damn shame. How all these people coming for one woman? Then she ain't no woman. She can't be no woman. She got to be something quite I hate to say it, supernatural. That's what I feel like they realize, and this woman is supernatural. We have done all this shit to try to take her life, and it leaves us in despair and desolation and in lack and loss. And, you know, we pissed about it. We sick of this hoe because we can't stop her, and it angers us. Because who does she think she is? No, you need to be asking God. 1818 when I looked up, who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? You need to be asking God about this divine feminine. Since you ain't, you don't know who she is. You ain't picked it up yet. Because her future is going to continue to remain bright. She's going to continue to have a victory. Okay? So I don't know. You know, the math just ain't mathing for these folk because this is a lot. This is a group of individuals who think they can do what they want to do. That's why. They've been doing what the fuck they want to do against people with this King of Swords here and this Queen of Swords and this Knight of Swords this day energy. They've been getting to do whatever the fuck they want to do, whether they are masculines or feminines in this group. Now, I'm picking up that this group is primarily men. But they have women who are affiliated with them. It's some women in this clusterfuck too who are also going against this other women along with their men, these men. So I don't know what kind of organization this is. Social club, group, whatever the fuck they is. They need to sit their ass the fuck down coming for this divine feminine. This woman's supernatural. And that's just period. And y'all human. So, you know, you do the math. Even though y'all ain't that good at math, you know what I'm saying? Start from the basics. Start at the beginning with the counting. And I want you to count up how many times you tried to unalive this woman, okay? 
count on your hands if you got to. It could get that simple. You know, we're going to take it back to the kindergarten, preschool days. Count on your hand. How many times y'all done came for this woman? And then on your other, and then after you write that number down, this will be, I'm giving motherfuckers a math lesson because they ass ain't getting it. Okay. After you write that number down of how many times you have, you have tried to unalive this woman, I want you to count on your hand how many times you were successful. So let's just say they tried to attack her nine times. I'm picking up on nine specifically. And she's still alive. So that's zero times that it worked. So let's do nine minus zero. What is nine minus zero? Nine. That's them not. That mean that you tried nine fucking times to kill this woman, and she beat your ass nine fucking times every time. You got a zero return off your investment to try to unalive this woman. Okay, so. That was subtraction. Subtract your ass from this equation of thinking that you're going to unalive this divine feminine. That's what I'm hearing, damn it. Because this don't even make no sense. Y'all can't be too damn bright if you still trying to kill the same person over and over and over and over and over again. Meanwhile, while you keep trying to hurt this person, your ass keep getting fucked up. Over and over and over and over again. At some point, something should click in your mind and be like, damn, I keep getting fucked up because I'm messing with this person, trying to fuck them up. Maybe I should stop messing with this person because I keep getting fucked up. You know, something got to click at some point here. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to tell you. They need to learn how to balance them emotions that they feeling about this woman because this all they, this all they, this is them. This is them right here trying to balance and juggle life. And I feel like they may even have conflict amongst themselves. Don't, don't fuck around and disband your own organization trying to take out a supernatural being, okay? That's the vibe I'm getting with this five of wands and this two of pentacles. Like, they starting to fight amongst themselves. They starting to have little issues and qualms and problems with each other because they ain't able to accomplish this common goal. Okay? Five of Cups. I'm telling you, them fives was popping out from the very beginning. This, this organization is about to experience some type of monumental change. That they're not going to be happy about if they keep messing it with this woman here. Okay. So I'm going to end it here. I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.